good morning. It's day number two and so far off to a good start. Haven't found a picture yet, but look at all this fog. That's awesome. And then over there, sun's rising, fog rising off the lake. Just a beautiful scene this morning. Fog all the way into the valley. So uh, I might go a little bit to the west where it's still dark and turn and try to look into the fog and into the sun. And then if, if I don't see anything over there, I might go back down to the water where I was last night. The, the longer that I stand here, the more fog I see coming up off the water. So, and then even way off in the distance, you can see fog coming off the other lake. So I'm gonna guess for a little while till it warms up a bit, we might see fog. So I went up on the road and uh, found a really cool photo with a, a fence line that had a bunch of uh, rolling hills in the background and then fog down in each valley. And then there was some pink clouds from sunrise above it. Really neat scene, just kind of a random uh, roadside photo. And then when I was coming back here to the lake, I also found, uh, it's like an open, uh, real flat prairie area. Sand Hills way in the back. They're not really part of the picture, but right in the middle of the field where three or four great big old cottonwoods and they had fog behind them. So that was kind of neat. Then after that, I've been just working my way along the lake here, uh, finding different scenes. Uh, I think the fog is starting to burn off. Um, the light's starting to get kind of harsh. There's uh, two pelicans way out there. I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of them on my way back out. So I'm here to where the road's flooded, so I had to turn around and now I'm gonna work my way back up, uh, back towards the entrance, back towards the highway and see if I see anything else. Otherwise it's time to head north towards the Badlands. All right, on the road, on the way to the Badlands. We just, just crossed over into South Dakota right back there. Got out, took a couple of touristy pictures with the South Dakota sign, because why not? Uh, this morning, took pictures, got, I think I got at least one I really like, and then I think I got a couple others, pretty cool. Um, and then went back to where we camped last night, made a little breakfast, and then stopped in town, filled up the cars with gas, and on the road heading north now. Uh, still seeing more pelicans out here. There's pelicans everywhere, but they're all 100 miles from the road and most of them still look to be sleeping. So sometime I'm gonna get some more pelican pictures. It's been a few years since I saw any pelicans near home. So uh, the plan for today is to head up to South Dakota, um, or we're in South Dakota, head up to Badlands National Park, kind of look around for a little bit, and then a little bit later, uh, lunchtime, we'll go to where we're going to camp tonight, set up the tent, eat lunch, uh, kind of regroup and get ready for hopefully another great evening of photography. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. We arrived at our campground early, but since it was not busy, they were more than happy to let us set up early. We quickly threw up our tents and I hopped in Josh and Amy's Jeep and we headed towards the park. I did a terrible job introducing Josh and Amy in these videos. Josh and I have been on these photography adventures for over a decade now. And three of us had grand plans of like really incorporating the three of us into each other's videos and just never got around to it. I think there's one night towards the end of the trip where we all were sitting around cooking dinner and just kind of shooting the breeze. And maybe I'll uh, try to borrow some of that audio from them, but we'll see what happens. All right, made it to Badlands National Park. Just got in and got on the road scouting out places to shoot sunset tonight. Uh, beautiful park. Can't believe I've never been here, or at least as an adult, never been here. Really looking forward to this trip to find new uh, photos to take. Having never been there before, we just tried to cover as much ground as we could that afternoon, searching out potential photo locations for that evening. Looking back on these videos now, I wish I would have spent more time that day trying to work with these beautiful skies. As it got later in the afternoon, the clouds started to thicken up and we really needed to find a spot and make a decision of where we were going to shoot sunset that evening.
Okay, this is the first spot I have for tonight. Uh, I kind of like the way that this ridge line makes an S kind of through the bottom of the the scene here, and then have all those hills in the background with the colors. Um, don't know what the sky is going to do. I'm guessing if the sun can break through these clouds, which it looks like it's starting to, that sky above there could light up and then should have nice side lighting on all the hills here. So see what happens. If I decide I don't like this composition, I might run up on the next ridge. There's a couple uh, erosion lines up there I really like. So uh, I might shoot a couple more here and then go over there and just take a look and see if that's what I want to do or not. Okay, I've moved around a few different times now and I think I'm settled on this shot here. It looks a little different in my camera than it does on this wide angle lens. But if you look up here, you'll notice some erosion lines. And those, when they catch the sunlight at sunset, lead you right into this scene up here. And the side of all those hills should catch really nice sunlight too. And hopefully, some of these clouds will turn a nice color. We'll see what happens. We're still a little ways from sunset, but I think I'm pretty much sold on staying here for now. Well, the clouds never really materialized tonight. Uh, it's still pretty full to the west where the sun is. And then where the, we wanted those clouds to get lit up. Um, they, kind of, they kind of fell apart. But over here in the opposite direction where all the roads, the car, the construction, where all that is, you can see it start to light up. So I think we might try to just bail over the hill there, try to find something really quick. There's a really big range of, uh, what do you want to call these? Mountains, dunes, whatever, right over the hill. So maybe if we hurry, we can get up there and get some good color. But I think that's going to do it for this location. See what happens. Here's the photo from my primary location that night. Overall, I like the scene. I like the composition with the lines leading you into the middle ground. I like the middle ground with the green grass that kind of breaks up all the earth tones. And just the, the background with all the peaks. I really like the scene here. The problem is it just never got the dramatic light that I was hoping for. And there's way more shadows than I was thinking. I thought the shadow to uh, highlight ratio would be balanced a lot more 50-50. And it's just, there's a lot of dark back there. All that texture, which if that side light was hitting all those different peaks just right, you know, there could be a ton of texture back there. It could be a really cool scene, but overall it's cool. I would definitely try this again and then just hope for a little bit more directional light on the front of the hill. And um, maybe it'd probably be a different time of year to get that directional light and then a better sky. You know, the sky here was, it was all right. It, it definitely could be worse. Definitely could be better. So overall a really nice scene and, uh, Probably not going to print this one out and add it to my website, but overall, I, I, I do like what I accomplished here. Just could be better. So I took this photo right before I took the previous photo, and I really like the light here. This is the light I was hoping for in that last photo. It's just really dynamic. You got a lot of great highlights, great shadows, a lot of lines leading you in. I really like this photo. I I think it's lacking just a little bit and the only thing I could think that it doesn't have a dominant subject I mean that foreground hill is pretty cool with all the texture there's a lot of color and contrast in that second hill back but there's not like a real main subject and maybe that's the thing I'm struggling with but overall this is the light I was looking for it's a beautiful scene it's a nice photo so I don't know what I'll do with it it might be on my website it might not we'll see this photo here is a cell phone photo taken earlier in the day when I was scouting this location out. When I'm out scouting, I always try to take some cell phone photos, just kind of reference to, you know, kind of see what I was looking at. And they're always nice to have when I go back after, you know, trip and see what I was thinking. But this one actually is kind of cool. I like the clouds above the hills there. I like that I did it in a portrait mode. I'm not a big portrait mode shooter. I have no idea why. I just, it's never been one of my things one of my things that I like, but I do like this one. I like the the lines really lead you in better on this one in portrait mode. The sky's great. It probably should have got out the real camera and taken a couple photos of this, but uh, overall, cool photo, and it's just fun that I have it, and I know for next time that I should think more about doing some of these portrait modes. If I did anything different in this one, I might try to scoot just a little bit to the right, um, or actually move myself to the left so that crack down the middle is to the right and kind of get a little more of that dynamic 
uh, shadow from the cracks on the left side, get that in the photo a little bit more, and then kind of lose some of that more boring, less contrasty ground on the right. But overall, neat photo, and uh, I'll try this one again for sure. Mm -hmm.